Good afternoon on this gorgeous afternoon in the Capital District, uh, 5.30-ish here in Albany with lots of sunshine and uh, just uh, delightful temperatures in the 70s. Look at all this blue sky out here in North Albany and Manans looking over to the east and uh, to the north, a lot of blue sky. Some more clouds off to the south, but uh, again, even these are clearing out as uh, we have a high pressure center building and it looks like it's gonna be a great evening want to talk a little bit about Debbie, the tropical cyclone, now just offshore South Carolina, uh, expected to make landfall again late tonight and early tomorrow morning as a strong tropical storm. It's got 60 mile per hour winds, a um, lot of flooding rain in the southeast over the last couple of days with the approach into Florida and then the storm just meandering around. I think it's going to pick up steam and there have been some changes in the last 24 hours in the computer guidance. And I wanna talk about that because it could have significant impacts on what we see here in the capital region. If you remember yesterday, it looked like the heaviest precipitation with this was going to be right over the capital region, four, six, even seven inches of rain in some spots, right in downtown Albany perhaps, and the surrounding greater capital district communities. Well, now the computer models just got to duck under the tree there for a second, uh, are taking the heaviest rain and lifting it a little bit more to the north in the Adirondacks and to the west, down the Mohawk Valley toward Utica. That's good news for our area. We still may get one, two, or three inches of rain, but if we get that, we can handle that without any major flooding. The Adirondacks, a different story though, westbound toward Utica. So if that pans out, Still some local areas, and especially just surrounding the greater capital district, could have some serious flooding come Friday night and Saturday. Well, that takes us to the, uh, the next story, which is the speed of this system. <clears throat> There's a deep trough of low pressure over the Great Lakes, and it's digging in. It's going to lift the uh, remnants of Debbie and slingshot it quickly through our area. So yesterday, it looked like this thing was going to move more slowly uh, through the Carolinas, through the nation's capital, eventually up over central Pennsylvania and uh, central and eastern New York, and then by Saturday, be over top of us with a lot of heavy rain. Well, the latest computer models take this thing a lot faster through the area, Friday and Friday night, and then out of here by Saturday morning. That would mean with less time over the top of us, Friday night and Saturday, a smaller chance that we get those huge rainfall numbers. It's just not gonna be over us long enough the way it looks now. There's other meteorological factors that have to be taken into account, like the precipitation efficiency. This storm originated in the tropics. It's got a lot of moisture with it that has to be wrung out. And believe me, the mountains up here, the Catskills, the Adirondacks especially, can make these rainfall totals higher than expected just because of the lift added by the mountain. So we don't wanna write this off yet, but I do wanna talk about those changes because they are significant. Uh, the speed especially, if this thing slingshots out of here, Saturday could wind up being a decent day. So I don't wanna write that off either, but we can get a lot of rain between let's say late morning Friday and uh, before the sun comes up on Saturday. And if all of the precip falls in that short period of time, and some places get three, four, five inches of it, we're gonna see some localized flooding, small streams and creeks, and maybe even the larger rivers, depending on the exact track. So that's what we're gonna be watching over the next couple of days, how this whole thing unfolds, how the jet stream energy associated with that trough interacts with Debbie, a lot of meteorology going on here. And sometimes the computer models can grasp onto some of this stuff and sometimes not. So we can't rely on just the amount of rain that a few of these computer models put out. Sometimes we just have to go with uh, some experience in our gut. And with this thing originating in the tropics, may not be our area, but someone's gonna get a whole bunch of rain. Adirondacks maybe, maybe out in central New York toward Utica and Syracuse down to Binghamton. But to either way, there's gonna be some large numbers of uh, rainfall totals uh, just because of the uh, precip efficiency and the origin of, of the storm here. Uh, down in the tropics. So uh, we'll be watching those factors coming up on about to 545 in a few minutes. Uh, we're going to be on News Channel 13 Live at 6 
Uh, and I'll outline a lot of this. I wanted to do some things here because I simply have a little bit more time to talk about it uh, while the Olympics are on. Uh, but I want you to get the understanding that these things are changing day to day. So from yesterday to today, uh, we do have that and those changes that I wanted to talk about. So we've issued a first warning alert day from Friday into Saturday morning with the idea that we're going to have some impactful weather. Uh, there will be heavy rain. Uh, whether it impacts your plans or not, still yet to be determined. We want to give you the heads up. That's why we issued the alert day, not because there's going to be this catastrophe here. But uh, that's what alert day is about, just keeping you informed and, and keeping you on top of what might happen. You may have to change some plans for Friday. And if you have some, maybe even a golf tee time on Saturday morning, something as simple as that uh, may not be great conditions out there. Whether things get worse than that, uh, will be ironed out in the next couple of days. So uh, we'll be here on top of it for you. Again, News Channel 13 starting live at 6. Don't forget also we have a special uh, News Channel 13 Olympic Zone where we'll go over the weather as well. That's from 7 to 8 p.m. So a couple chances to watch us on TV. Uh, you can send me questions here if you have any uh, anything, any thoughts on uh, some of the things that uh, we've been talking about here or if you have plans and you want to uh, nail something down for later in the weekend, maybe early next week. Uh, in the meantime, try and enjoy this beautiful weather. We talked about all that sunshine. We're here in Menans. Look how great it is with that blue sky because this may be the only day that we have uh, conditions this perfect around the capital region. So uh, we'll get out and enjoy it. We'll see you next time and uh, we'll see you on News Channel 13 starting live at 6.